What kind of roster are we going to be getting? What should we expect from Mortal Kombat 12? Mortal Kombat 9 was sort of like a remaster of Mortal Kombat Trilogy. Mortal Kombat X was sort of doing its own thing with a lot of new characters. And Mortal Kombat 11 was sort of adding all the characters that we missed in MKX, or at least most of them from MKX into MK11, with a big emphasis on MK2 and MK3 characters. And so what do you do now when you're on your fourth Mortal Kombat game? What kind of roster do you make? Because at this point, Netherrealm has sort of just done everything. They've gotten through basically all the classic characters, they did a lot of new characters, and really the only thing that's missing is 3D era characters. There are a shit ton of 3D era characters that have not shown up in a modern Mortal Kombat game. And well, Ed Boon himself has acknowledged that we have been wanting 3D era characters, more 3D era characters to show up in Mortal Kombat. Somebody asked Ed Boon, will we see any 3D era characters return in Mortal Kombat 12? And Ed Boon just straight up says, yes you will. And I like how he just straight up says, yeah, you're going to see more 3D era characters in Mortal Kombat 12, even though Mortal Kombat 12 isn't officially confirmed, but he's sort of knowing where we are as a community because we all know Mortal Kombat 12 is going to be the next game, even though it isn't officially announced. Ed Boon also answered somebody who asked a question sort of referencing the fact that us as a community kind of feel like Netherrealm does not like the 3D era based on the fact that they rarely include them in big scales on the rosters of their games. The tweet was deleted, but I do remember that was what was asked and Ed Boon responds by saying, that is something we we will soon fix. That is probably the best acknowledgement we've ever gotten from Ed Boon in regards to the 3D era characters and the 3D era fans, including people like me who have been asking Netherrealm, hey, include more 3D era characters in your roster. I mean, it seems like you don't like these characters, and honestly, it sucks to be you, but we like those characters, and regardless if you like them or not, a lot of fans have been waiting for a long, long time to be able to play as these characters in a modern Mortal Kombat game. I mean, just think about it for a second. Some of these 3D era characters like Havoc, Ashra, Onaga, Reiko, that's just a handful. Some of those characters have not been playable since George W. Bush was president of the United States. Now, here's a couple of other fascinating facts for you. The last time characters like Ashra, Reiko, Havoc, Onaga, Serena, the last time they were playable was during a time where the first iPhone, the first iPhone was not released yet. And also they were last playable at a time where the Marvel Cinematic Universe did not exist yet. The first Iron Man movie was not released the last time those characters were playable. I think you and I both know enough is enough. It has been enough time. It is literally now or never for these characters to show up. And honestly, I think there is a chance now. There is a chance for these kind of characters to show up in the next game based on Ed Boon's tweets and his responses toward 3D era characters. Now, of course, take Ed Boon's tweets for what you will. We know Ed is notorious for half-truths and trolling, but you also have to realize this is probably the best acknowledgement Ed Boon has ever given 3D era fans and the 3D era characters. So on the subject of Ed Boon's tweets, we all know that he's been doing these Twitter AMAs and stuff. And some of the questions that he's been answering were like character requests asking, will X characters show up in the next game or will they ever show up? And different variations of those questions, basically asking, can this character be in the next game? And Ed Boon has given a lot of these really vague positive responses like yes that's very likely for this character to show up in the future yes it's possible for this character to show up in the future signs point to yes for this character showing up in the next game or in the future or whatever it is almost straightforward answers they're not complete straightforward answers they're not concrete because again we all know Ed Boon likes to do half-truths and trolling. So when he's responding to somebody who says, can this character show up in the future? And he says, yes, he could technically mean that, yes, maybe in Mortal Kombat 14 or 13 or whatever the fuck, they can show up in that future. That doesn't mean that I'm talking about Mortal Kombat 12. He can technically say that. But it is worthy of discussion when Ed Boon says, yes, X character is likely to show up in the future. Because who knows, maybe he is 
talking about Mortal Kombat 12, or maybe he's talking about Mortal Kombat Onslaught. So I went ahead and made a graphic gathering all the Mortal Kombat characters Ed Boon acknowledged in some way where his response was, very likely to show up, stay tuned, signs point to yes, they will show up in the future, and labeled them as in the hunt for maybe being in Mortal Kombat 12. And these are the characters. Ashra, Chameleon, Female Chameleon, Havoc, Cabal, Katana, Melina, Quan Chi, Reiko, Reptile, Serena, Shinnok, Shujinko, Smoke, Striker, Tanya, Cassie Cage, Tremor, Motaro, and Onaga. Now again, Ed Boon is known for his half-truths and trolling, so these characters may or may not be in Mortal Kombat 12. Just because Ed Boon gave a positive response saying X character is likely to show up in the future does not mean that they are going to show up in Mortal Kombat 12. That's why I'm labeling all these characters in the hunt or take with a grain of salt. But... If these characters do end up on the roster of MK12, let's just say all of these characters end up in MK12. I think we're having a really good roster so far. We've got a lot of 3D era characters, plenty of classic characters. It's not enough, of course, but a lot of these characters like Onago, Motaro, Havoc, Chameleon, Astra, we have not seen in a long, long time. And I'm very, very sure these characters would be incredibly interesting in a modern Mortal Kombat game. Now, of course, this roster is missing characters like Scorpion, Sub-Zero, Raiden, Liu Kang, the, you know, the baseline characters, the ones that are always locks in the game. But this is not a mock-up roster. This is just a graphic of all the specific character requests Ed Boon has responded to on Twitter in a positive light. Like, in all honesty, I think it's a pretty big stretch that both Chameleons will be in the next game. I think it's a big stretch that Motaro is in. Although, I do think that... Maybe this time around, they will rise up to the challenge and actually animate a horse into gameplay. But a lot of these characters don't really seem that far out there in terms of possibility, like Havoc, Reiko, Serena, and of course characters like Tanya and Reptile. So I don't think this is a very far out there list. I think all of these characters, besides maybe both chameleons, have a good shot at being in, in the next game. Assuming we're living in a world where all of these characters actually end up being in MK12, the ones that I'm looking forward to the most are Havoc, Onaga, Motaro, and either of the Chameleons. I think all of those characters can bring so much to the table. There's endless possibilities, and I'm really hoping that they actually pull through with them. But yeah, guys, think about it for a minute. Take a look at this graphic and include the essentials like Scorpion, Sub-Zero, Raiden, Johnny Cage, and Liu Kang, and pretend this is the roster you're going to be getting for Mortal Kombat 12. Would you like this roster? Who are you hoping to be added? What do you think it needs more of? Whatever it is that you have to say, let me know in the comments below. And also, don't forget to join my Discord and join the discussion there as well. The link is in the description below. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram, at BrusquePoet. Links are down below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a big thumbs up and subscribe for more Mortal Kombat content. Thank you guys for watching the video, and I'll see you guys later.